time. It would not have happened if the Rough Riders' Dave Ridgway had made this field goal attempt on the final play of regulation. And it would not have happened if Hamilton's Paul Bennett had not kicked the ball back out of the end zone. The score remained tied 18-18. And then the Riders might have won it in overtime as Bobby Johnson goes a yard to score a touchdown. But it does not count. This one is called back for holding. The Riders have to settle for a field goal instead. All the same, they go in front, 21-18. But that leaves the door open for Tiger Cat rookie Paul Espaldiston to kick a 51-yard field goal of his own with no time remaining. This one ends deadlocked. An overtime tie, 21-21. prefer to win, but under the new playoff format, Saskatchewan does move to within three points of a potential playoff berth in the Western Conference. Well, last week we had a crazy game with the Ticats at our place at Taylor Field. It was the first overtime game ever in the history of the CFL. And then, can you imagine this? It ends up in a tie. So you never know what tempo a game is going to take, but I do know this, that whenever the two rider teams clash, it's always a heck of a football game, and this is such a great facility to play a good game and a critical game for both clubs that you just kind of wait and get after it and tee it up and let's go. And playoff aspirations are on the line for both riders tonight, Saskatchewan and Ottawa. Live from Lansdowne Park in Ottawa, the CFL on CTV. The Battle of the Rough Riders, round one, August 4th in Regina. Ray Elgard hauls in the pass from Joe Pow Pow, a 29-yard Saskatchewan touchdown. The Western Riders go in front, 26-6. Bobby Johnson chips in with a pair of gallops for majors. This a 16-yarder, round one to the Western Riders, 33-14. But Ottawa comes into tonight's game off a dramatic win of their own. Last weekend in Montreal, down by 10 with less than three minutes to play. Gilbert Renfro hooks up with Mark Lewis for a 19-yard touchdown. And the Riders go for two on the convert. Renfro to Brad Callum. They trail by only two points, 28-26. And they come storming back for more. Renfro to newcomer Kelly Johnson. This is a 36-yard game. And that puts Dean Dorsey in position to win it with just three seconds left to play. He's good on a 38-yard field goal. Ottawa wins by a single point, 29-28. So tonight, it is the Battle of the Rough Riders, round two, this time in the nation's capital. And we've got football weather here tonight. There is a bite in the air, only 11 degrees Celsius, 52 Fahrenheit, a stiff little breeze, and the chance of showers. None of which, by the way, intimidates Jack Gotta. He says when you play football regularly in Regina, an autumn night in Ottawa is a very pleasant night indeed. Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to the CFL on CTV. We expect an emotion charge game tonight. Both teams need a win. Both are lagging behind in their respective divisions, and they need to put a little push on over the last seven games to become a playoff contender. Let's get some details on the matchup tonight. In the broadcast booth, Pat Marsden and Lee Pedersen. Thank you, Dan. Hello again, everybody. No question about it. A nail-biter for Saskatchewan with Hamilton and Ottawa's victory over Montreal was the same, but the most exciting thing that happened in this past seven days happened to this man. <laughs> My partner, Lee Pedersen, congratulations from everybody on the birth of Catherine Ann, and let's say congratulations to your wife, Lee, too. Well, Lee, I know she's watching, and uh, what an experience that was. I have a real appreciation for all mothers, the pain and suffering they go, to, go through to bring such joy to our lives. All right, well, let's talk about tonight's ball game. What quickly can we look for? Well, it's as simple as this. Both defenses have really struggled this year. I think the defense that plays the best tonight, they'll come out the winner. Well, we're going to find out which one that will be in just a few minutes, but right now, let's go back to Dan Matheson. Thank you, Pat. One final note before we get this ball game underway. The Saskatchewan Rough Riders love to play in Lansdowne Park. They've been here in their last six visits. They've won four. Opening kickoff shortly. This is the CFL on CTV. 